Okay, I'm making this video of, um, of a box of Red Guard. And the reason I'm making it is because I've always felt like when you build a shower, um, you should have some type of waterproofing membrane. Um, but it's always been my contention that if you use a waterproofing membrane on top of the fact that everybody today is doing 12 by 12 um, tile on their shower, rather than the 4x4 four four ceramic with the non-sanded grout. Um, it's a larger area, of course. You know, you get uh, four of uh, the 4x4s four four um, in place of one larger, uh, thicker uh, tile, 12x12, 12 12, that's going on showers nowadays, plus the 4x4 four four used, used non-sanded grout, whereas today we're using sanded grout with um, the 12x12. 12 12. So um, that kind of negates, um, you know, having to do a whole lot of work to keep your shower waterproof. But I do use Red Guard. This is Red Guard. Um, as I said, it's my contention that you should be able to put Red Guard on just about any surface to make it waterproof, um, theoretically. However, there are people out there, myself included, that kind of believe that Red Guard is not necessarily a waterproof if the water stands on it for a long time. Um, so I, what I used to say is that I could I could build a shower out of cardboard and literally paint it with Red Guard and tile it and there's not going to be any water penetration through the cardboard. And I was at um, a tile store the other day and the guy told me um, his product was like Red Guard, it was the same price, and, and he literally said I could I could paint the inside of a cardboard box and w water will not go get through. So what I did is I, I used Red Guard, I didn't buy his product, but I used Red Guard and I painted a cardboard box, um, just as he said. Now, um, I will say this, normally I do one, maybe two coats on, onto a shower, um, shower wall. Um, in this case, I did probably three coats on this cardboard box and the only reason is because there's a lot of cracks where the cardboard meets down here. There's a lot of cracks that I had to fill in and of course the corners always seem to get a lot more of that stuff. So in this case the whole entire surface of this cardboard box um, inside the cracks and, the, and where the seams come together has been painted with this red guard. It's just probably about three coats. Um, so that's a lot more than you would use. So I'm going to fill that with water and let it set uh, for a couple days. I really don't know what the end result was going to be, um, but I will show it on my next video and, um, and we'll see if this actually works. In addition, I've also come across a lot of people that like hardy backer board. Uh, hardy backer board is this stuff right here. Um, I used to kind of teasingly call it uh, compressed cardboard because to me that's what it is. If you look at the, the side of this hardy backer, you know, it really does look like it's a, just a bunch of, I don't know, like fibrous type material put together. Hardy backer claims that this is waterproof. Water resistant, perhaps, but not waterproof. Um, I have another video on YouTube where um, a contractor had actually set um, hardy backer board into a shower um, at a surface level of the shower pan and um, then he poured the pan I think about up to here or so and then he tiled it um, and then of course when I came in to do the demo I'm taking out this hardy backer that I'm thinking is sheetrock because it's just like oatmeal it's just falling apart in my hand and besides cutting this stuff which I am really not into um, it's very difficult to cut this stuff even if you score it um, and with a razor knife, it's hard to get off the edges and stuff as opposed to Dura-Rock or some other type of cement board. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, in addition to uh, filling this with water to see if the Red Guard works, is I'm going to saturate this. They say that the edges will take water in. Um, it's kind of difficult as a contractor to make sure that everything is done 100%. So red guarding the edges and all that stuff um, would be the way to go, I suppose, if you use this stuff. I just would never use it um, based on that one experience I had of taking it out. Um, I just don't believe in it because, uh, you know, it falls apart. 
So what I'm going to do when I fill this with water, I'm going to set that in there. I'm going to show you later on, um, I don't know, by the end of the day or maybe tomorrow or in a couple days. I don't know how long it'll last, but you're going to see the result is that this hardy backer um, does get water saturated and falls apart. Um, as opposed to Durrock, which is a cement board. This is quarter inch. Um, most people that use this on a shower are going to use half inch, but the same thing applies um, when this, this is also water resistant, but it's not water impenetrable because, hello, it's porous. So water will saturate this stuff, but the sheer makeup of cement board is, it's got all this mesh in it which precludes it from falling apart. So although it will absorb water, this stuff could set inside water and still have its integrity. This stuff isn't gonna get soft and fall apart on you the way Hardybacker will. So I'm gonna put this in here as well. And so, you know, you will see that, you know, days and actually weeks and months later, this will keep its integrity and this stuff won't. Um, so, um, you know, this, this, is, this is kind of an experiment that I'm doing, and, you know, although I know the result of the Hardybacker board, I don't know the result of, you know, the Red Guard, and so that's the main reason for posting this video, is this to see what Red Guard does if it's saturated with water. Um, and so I'm going to fill this up right now, and, um, see what happens. And I do like it already because I can see that the water is beating and it's beating really really well inside this box. Uh, so I do like that but you know letting it soak will be the test of the test of the stuff ultimately. Okay um, it is a week later. Actually, I filled this up last Saturday. It is now Saturday evening. So this has been in here for a solid seven days, this water. As you remember, I filled the water up, well, you know, to that level there. It's gone down about an inch and a half or so because of evaporation. But um, outside of the box, there are no leaks anywhere. And it is watertight. I'm a little bit surprised, not, not because the Red Guard held, so much as that I was able to get enough in the corners to prevent leaking from the corners. But as you can see, if this was a bathtub or a shower or something like that, it would be um, watertight. So this is one of the reasons that I don't believe in, in Curdy. Curdy and Schluter, uh, I think they're hand in hand. One does flooring, one does walls. Um, it's, a sh it's a membrane, an orange sheet of membrane. Uh, you may have seen it at Home Depot and other places that they really push. Their product is uh, an overkill on a situation where overkill really isn't needed that much. Uh, we're not doing ceramic tile onto sheetrock with no um, no sanded grout anymore. We're doing larger tile, thicker tile with sanded grout and most people are sealing their tile. That alone prevents water penetration. But then when you put the Red Guard or another product like Red Guard, Red Guard is what Home Depot sells but the product at um, Lowe's is actually this goes on red, I'm sorry, this goes on pink and dries red. Their product goes on, I believe it was green and dries blue or vice versa. Anyway, they're all about the same. It's, it's, a, it's a membrane that lasts and obviously it's waterproof. So if you're putting tile on your board, no matter what board you put on your shower, um, and then you put at least two coats of Red Guard on, then you'll be good. You know, obviously this you know, this is proof, proof positive that I could actually build a shower out of cardboard and paint the whole thing with Red Guard and you would never need a piece of tile on it in order for it to be water impenetrable. Um, after seven days, that's 170 hours that this thing has been saturated with water. 170 hours. That's 170 hour long showers, which nobody takes. So figure double that, you know, shower a day you know that's six months so if you half that to to um, 30 minute shower which most people don't take your water heater can't handle that then you know that's a whole year's worth of shower that this week of this red guard represents of total water penetration and you know if it were cardboard or, or sheetrock or 
this stuff it wouldn't matter you know it's irrelevant all this is is to hold up the walls um, so anything that holds up the walls will suffice um, this is what I like to use this has been saturated as well for the entire week it is Dura Rock, which is basically you know this this rock encased in um, this mesh and uh, fiberglass mesh and um, it's a great product I love it I, I don't use them on showers I don't really see the point because you know water saturates through and you know without without using a product like this this is no good because water will penetrate through and whatever is below your shower uh, whatever the wall is below your shower is gonna you know leak right into your dining room ceiling or whatever is right below your shower so this stuff is not an end-all product everybody you know pumps it up to be I, I love it and I use it on floors all the time it's great for floors and it's got the purpose for floors shower walls nah and I'm not really sold on that um, this is even a worse product this is a hardy backer board that everybody seems to like uh, for some reason I don't know why I've had a bad experience with this when I took out a shower where this stuff I actually was embedded into um, the shower pan so if you can imagine the shower pan was poured up to here and this stuff had been embedded for months and months and months and when I pulled out the shower pan and it's one of my other videos I have um, I thought this was actually sheetrock because it was just falling apart. It was like oatmeal. It had been embedded in, in a pan that inherently is always going to be moist anyway. So this has only been in there for a week. And, you know, the surface comes off like paper. Um, it's just it's really crap. Um, they, they really tout it as being waterproof, but it's not really waterproof. In fact, right now, with very little effort and just two fingers, I was able to take off part of that fibrous party backer board um, which you know doesn't it doesn't mean that it's not a good product to put on a shower because of course if you're putting this on a shower you're going to red guard it or put some type of water membrane waterproofing membrane across this anyway so it's irrelevant but of course nothing should be embedded into the shower pan um, none of these products are meant to withstand water for any length of time and this is actually the worst this is just really garbage. Um, I would never use this for any application anywhere, let alone a shower. Um, just the fact because, you know, I kind of consider cardboard that I can just take it off that easily after a week of water penetration. It just doesn't hold its integrity as Durarock will. I mean, you know, I can tear off a piece of Durarock, but it takes the same effort as it would if it was dry. So the wetness doesn't affect it, it holds its integrity. Um, but the more important thing is the red guard. Again, getting back to that, if you're waterproofing a shower, this is what I always use. Um, I really think it's a great insurance policy. If your tile is done, your grouting is done, and your ceiling is done, then the red guard is a redundancy. But I would rather use red guard at $45 a gallon than I would be for you know the Curdy and pocketing their their bank account with you know thousands of dollars of their product that is basically doing the same thing and is a whole lot easier to put on and a whole lot cheaper and thereby you know saving you money in the long run so that's my diatribe about red guard and and waterproofing and all that stuff and i hope this video kind of you know ensures that you're confident when you see this stuff on shower walls that it actually does work i was a little skeptical myself normally this stuff it goes on pink and you, you know you can see that it's pink right now because of the water saturation but still it hasn't you know gone back to its normal state which was a liquid so it it does it does hold up and i do like it and um, that's all i have to say about that so i'm going off to work <laughs>